guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another skincare review and today I'm going to be talking about the Yes2 Light Hydration Super Fresh Gel Moisturizer. That is a very long name. So I was so excited to try this because it looks and sounds so similar to the Glow Recipe Pink Juice Moisturizer which is like three times the price. So I really want to test it out. So today I'm going to be talking all about this product and then also throwing in a comparison of the Glow Recipe Pink Juice Moisturizer at the end. I'll also have my blog post linked down below with product links, additional information, ingredients, and also some extra pictures comparing the both products. So let's start off with the basics of the Yes2 Super Fresh Gel Moisturizer. It contains 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. It also contains 96% natural ingredients, which is awesome. It's targeted towards all skin types and it's also cruelty free and vegan friendly. The product itself is a pink color. As you can see, it is very vibrant and it smells like watermelon candy. Like it smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. So if you're into that, this is totally up your alley. You can find this product on Amazon, on Target, CBS, and a lot of other stores. I'll leave again my blog post down below with some product links. I'm gonna read the description off of their website for you guys just so you can hear the claims. It says this light pink delicious smelling watermelon moisturizer is rich in lycopene and vitamin C to lightly hydrate and leave your skin feeling refreshed and soft. The sweet, smell. the sweet smell of watermelon also carries throughout the day, lifting your mood as well as your skin, which I think is such a cute description. Just to let you guys know, I have combination skin with some dry patches, so I'm not very oily like I used to be in my younger years. I am now um, more like dry combination skin, so I will just start off by saying that. That's where my opinions will be coming from. Let's talk about things that I like about this product. The first thing is I love the texture. It's a really nice light gel texture. It glides onto the skin. It feels really nice and cooling. So it's perfect for the summertime or as the season, you know, starts to warm up a little bit as it is right now in Boston. It really does glide on and it does provide a nice light layer of hydration. Going back to the claims, I do think this makes my skin feel soft, but you know, soft and hydrated kind of go hand in hand in my mind. So I think, you know, I think at least for me, that's true. I also like that this is formulated without parabens, SLS, and silicones. I've been slowly switching over all of my beauty products over to cruelty-free and clean beauty products. It just has a lifestyle choice. So I'm really glad that this is priced so nicely and easily accessible in certain stores around me. And I think this is a pretty solid moisturizer. That's all great and fine, but let me just talk about some of the things that I didn't particularly like. So the first is that the scent is strong. It does say in the description that it's going to linger and, you know, give you that fresh watermelon scent. However, I'm not a huge fan in like super sweet scented things. So I don't think it's like, a, I don't think it's, you know, a huge con for me. Like I still use it. I still like it. I use it every day actually. But I will say that the scent is strong. So if you're kind of like me, just know that they don't kid around with this watermelon scent. The other thing is that it is a light moisturizer, so if you're someone like me who has combination skin or any dry patches, I will say that this isn't super hydrating. I do find myself having to layer on another product or just using an essence beforehand, so an essence kind of helps to absorb the products that you apply on top, so I think it kind of amplifies the hydrating abilities of this. So again, not a huge deal breaker, but just something to note. If you're looking for something that has light hydration or something that's really cooling for the summertime, I think this is great. And I also do think that it would be great for all skin types. I know for oily skin types, gel moisturizers are like heaven scent. So this is a great price point and definitely very, very comparable to the Glow Recipe Pink Juice Moisturizer. Let's bring in the Glow Recipe Pink Juice Moisturizer into the conversation and talk about some of the similarities between these two products. The ingredients are obviously very similar. It is a watermelon-based moisturizer. They both also contain similar ingredients. The Pink Juice one is also vegan and cruelty-free. It's also free of alcohol, synthetic dyes, silicones, parabens, mineral oils, sulfates, and... Photolites? I don't know how to say that last one. So I'm actually not sure if the Yes2 gel moisturizer contains mineral oils or silicones, but other than that, they're pretty similar in terms of ingredient list. They both also contain hyaluronic acid, which is just a hydrating ingredient, and they're also, as you saw, vegan and cruelty-free. They also both had that pink color, but the Glow Recipe is a tad bit lighter than the Yes2 one. They also have the same watermelon scent, but the Glow Recipe one, again, is a little bit um, less potent, so it doesn't linger as long. The texture is really similar, even though that the Yes2 one is a gel and the Glow Recipe is actually 
formulated as a cream, but I do think this is very like jelly-like, so I do think that the texture feels very cooling for both products, and it definitely leaves your skin feeling like really nice and refreshed when applying both of these products. The biggest difference is probably the price point. The Glow Recipe one, I think, retails for $45 USD. I'll, again, leave links down below but it's a lot more than the Yes 2. So if you're looking for something that's comparable and you really want to try the Glow Recipe one, I would definitely say try out the Yes 2 and see if you like it because they are very, very similar given those small differences. The packaging is also slightly different. The Glow Recipe Pink Juice Moisturizer comes in a glass bottle and also has a pump at the top, which I think is really nice. Glass is also recyclable depending on where you live, so just definitely look it up if you're looking to recycle after you're done with this product. The Yes 2 Gel Moisturizer comes in a plastic bottle, which again, I believe is recyclable, although it doesn't have that little sign, but I will leave an annotation when I find out if it is or not. Honestly, I think these two products are very, very similar. There's, again, slight differences, so depending on your price point and what you're looking for, I think you can't go wrong either way. That's it for my review. I really hope this was helpful and helped you learn a little bit more about the two products and any differences and similarities that they have. If you guys have any questions or if you really want to try either of these products, definitely let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch and I would love to see you guys back. Also, don't forget to creep on me so I can creep on you. My social links are down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Ooh,